Dystopia warning. Yes, it finally happened. Slim Brady, the real Slim Brady, or his other Slim Brady's are just imitating, turned up at number 10. Gave Lynn from HR her P45. The P stands for pork. And told her to back off. She didn't even know why she was at number 10. That woman has the constant beleaguered expression of a goose that's accidentally stumbled upon an orgy. You know the best bit? For doing that job terribly for six weeks, she'll get paid 100 grand a year by us for the rest of her life. She tanked our economy. The lead up to all this was one of the most batshit things I've ever seen in my life. And I remember Johnson's siege. Cast your mind back to 2 p.m. yesterday. It all started with that bloody hippie. She only went and resigned. A lot of people think it was down to old, you know, Starry Hunt. Trying to fill the government with loads of little rishis. You know, little borrower people that live in the woods. Someone else thought it was Blinky Truss. But she thought a home secretary is the person that drives you back to your house at the end of the day. Losing her home secretary coincided with uh, no drama, just Starmer and Labour pulling an absolute blinder. They put the government in a very tricky position. Either they vote with Labour and ban fracking or they go against their manifesto and really piss off their constituents. The government decided to make this an unofficial confidence vote in trust who has a public approval rating of like minus 70 has tanked the Tories down to like the 20s in the polls. He's hated by the Tories. A load of them were going to rebel but they U-turned against it being a confidence vote when the whips had made everyone vote for it. Apparently there was manhandling and jabbing as they went in to vote and certain MPs getting involved. Can you see who's at the centre there? Can you guess who it is? Yeah, evil Jarvis Cocker impersonator. Lord Frackenshire, who has a personal vested interest in fracking and the fossil fuel industry. This is why they're all there. It's not about the public interest, it's about vested interest. It's not about you not being able to get an ambulance. It's not about your energy bills. It's about them raking it in. Many of them, being an MP, is their second job. Know what you're thinking, though, that's not Grant Shapps as one of his aliases in a bad wig. It's Wendy Morton. He resigned, then unresigned. No one knew what was going on, but when the number 10 spokesperson was asked, they said, who knows? Yeah, and in a segment that was not supposed to be aired, Krishna and Guru Murphy called Steve Baker a C unit. Steve can take it though, he's a Brexit hard man. Now pork markets has gone, guess who's throwing his hat in the ring? I will set fire to things. He said it's in the national interest that he stands. He's currently draped on a sun lounger like a slug in the Caribbean. We need a general election because we're having the piss taken out of us by a posh shit crime syndicate. Get angry, demand it.